Today, I have an interesting question for all of you. You just need to tell me what is the output of the given code. You will say that, okay, Abhishek, it's that easy. You have just mentioned a main method and within this, you are saying in main method. So if even if you will execute, then it is just going to print whatever you have mentioned. And that was too easy. Okay. But that was just a starting. Now let's see the tricking part. So here, what I will do is I will say something like this static and then I will be saying like this. Okay. And that's it. So this is not a method guys. Okay. Because let's assume if it had been a method, then, then there must be some method name. There must be some arguments. There must be some return type, at least void only, but we don't have anything like this. So this is a static block. Okay. Now what I will do is that within this static block, I will just write this statement. And now you need to again tell me that what it is going to print. You will say that, okay, Abhishek, it's that easy. Again, it will print in main method only. Like there is no way we are calling this static block. Yeah. So there is no chance that it can be printed, but maybe we are wrong. So let me just try to execute it and let's see what it is going to do. So to our surprise, we see that this time, first of all, it says in static block. And then it will say in main method. So this means that here it is actually executing this block even before our main method. Isn't it interesting? Because generally we say that public static void main string ARGS is the entry point of your Java application. But here we say that even before the entry point, there is a code and that is getting executed. So that is the magic of static blocks. Now the question is, what is the purpose of these static blocks? And that is something you need to tell me in the comments. Do like the video if you learned something new today. Thanks.